front lines when dangerous storms or power outages strike. Today, those workers have received recognition through Lineman Appreciation Day. WAFF 48 Savannah Sapp joins us live from Marshall County. Now, Savannah, you got a chance to learn about some outstanding linemen in Sand Mountain. Right, I did, Sean. Line men and women work countless hours under any condition to bring power to your homes. And today, three line men from Sand Mountain were recognized for saving one of their own. In light of Lineman Appreciation Day, the Energy Institute of Alabama celebrated three linemen from Sand Mountain for their life-saving efforts. Randy Moody, Ricky Hill, and Landon Green were honored with the Outstanding Service Award in Montgomery Tuesday morning. I had so many recommendations for these three men to, to receive the award, so at this time, I would like to invite them to come up and accept the award for the Energy Institute of Alabama. During the historic winter weather in late December, the three linemen were assessing a downed power line in Grove Oak when fellow lineman Mason Myers contacted a live wire. After killing the power to the line, Moody, Hill and Green began administering CPR to Myers as they awaited first responders. The Sand Mountain Electric Cooperative says that the three men worked nonstop for 20 minutes in sub-zero temperatures to keep Myers alive. According to the cooperative, the first responders share that the efforts made by the three saved Meyer's life. General Manager of the cooperative Mark Malone says that the trio quote didn't quit until the first responders arrived and saved Meyer's life through their quote determination and skill. He also says that line workers dedicate a great deal of their lives to ensure power is brought to homes and businesses. Now some even more great news for you. Mason Myers has made a speedy recovery since the incident and is back working again. Reporting live in Sand Mountain, Savannah Sap 48 on your side. Glad to hear it. Thank you, Savannah.